Hey, good morning, good morning. Oh, my people, my people. So welcome to the Better Together Saturday morning routine. Um, it's pretty much 9.45, I'm a little early. Um, so welcome, if you are catching this live, go ahead and drop a one. Um, if you are catching this on the replay, just let me know by dropping a two on there. And I thank you all so much for watching. Um, you know, last weekend I showed off this amazing pack that I love you very much, um, because I do, and, um, I had a lot of very loving girls, um, I must say out there, so your reviews back to me on what flavors you love, um, are definitely, um, just amazing to hear. I know that I think that this strawberry peach is probably, um, <laughs> one of the favorites that I'm hearing back, and that's fabulous. This is also one of my favorites. So, um, and of course, if you're ever interested in a trial while I'm talking, um, go ahead and drop trial in the comments below, and I have some amazing flavors ah, um, that I can get to right away. I've got them on hand. Um, we can make whatever you would like. Whatever you would like to try, I may have it on, my, on hand. Um, and I'm willing to ship. <laughs> so I get asked a lot, you know, um, how am I supposed to do this? How do I drink these? What do they taste like? Um, what do you do when you have a flavor that you just don't like and you have a box of them? Like, oh, so we're going to talk about it. So basically right now I drink two, sometimes three ketones a day. Why do I drink three? Um, sometimes, maybe if I've woken up really early and I've taken my first one at like 6 a.m., um, I'll maybe have another one around lunchtime and then another one in the evening. Um, basically, basically, what I've heard by watching the videos on Soup and Proven Results is that um, Sometimes it runs through your course of your body in about six hours. So uh, to me, that tells me that if I want to stay in ketosis, I maybe need to be supplementing it back in every six hours. Um, one, I'm not following the keto diet. Um, I'm, I'm eating carbs. I'm, I'm doing, I'm just eating normal, like honestly. So, um... I drink my first ketones between 6 a.m. 9 a.m. Um, so that's why sometimes I throw in that third one. Um, your second serving can hit around 1 to 4 p.m. Um, and you want to build up to that. Um, especially if, you know, if I'm giving you a trial pack and this is your first time or you're ordering online and it's your first time and you're running through it you're really not going to be up to that two serving mark immediately. And I recommend that you don't. Um, it can have a lot of, um, a little transformation to your gut to where it kind of is allowing your gut to turn over. But you have to think about like, I know what my diet looked like before I started drinking these and it's similar, but it has honestly changed me. Um, because it has changed those carb cravings that I always used to have. Um, where I thought I needed a big bowl of pasta, or I thought I needed some crackers. Um, hi, Talia. Hi. Sorry, that's my sister. She's on, and the girls are at her house every Saturday morning. Hi, Talia. Is Zayla with you? All right. Um, so, um, it's really changed kind of what my body is craving, and um, really, even when I indulge in those things, how much my body can really handle or want to handle anymore. Um, so I would always recommend that you take it slow. These little packets, these packets, whether it's this one or whether it's this one, these are both roughly two tablespoons. So if you start out doing half a packet, to kind of, you know, level out your body and just kind of get it at that balance. You know, you're changing the fuel source that your body's gonna run off, right? 
you've been living a more, if it's you're in my case, you're living more of like living off of glucose. You're living off of those amazing carbohydrates, right? So basically this is saying, no, 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 now we're going to live off of a fuel source of ketones. So in order for your body to kind of make that switch, your body does have to adjust to it. It, it just does. Any change that you make, any diet you're going to start, you're going to have those, um, I don't want to say pains with gains, but you're just going to have that transition phase, right? Everything is a little hard when we first get started. So our body kind of goes, whoa, what are we doing here? Um, but they are healthy. So they are the ketones that your body they're, they're bio-identical. So basically, you're not putting any type of chemical or yuck or filler or anything like that into your body. Um, so anyways, one packet is two tablespoons. So if you start out um, and say, you know, I always recommend my people, you know what, start out with half a packet. You're basically just going to take a tablespoon, you're going to stick it in there or pour out from this one and put that in your same amount of water. Start with just that, because that will then tell your body, hey, we're gonna try this thing. And um, then you got get a chance to listen to your body, see what kind of changes are happening inside of you, um, and let your body adjust. We wanna love our body. We talked about that last week. We wanna take care of this body that we were given. And by doing that, sometimes our changes can't be like, boom, bam, all at once. Like our body is going to be like, whoa, what's happening? I'm in shock. Please don't change all these things. And so not that those changes aren't good for you, but those changes take time. And so we need to have some patience and a little bit of grace as we go through this. So it's a gradual switch to it. If you're doing too much, too fast, too quickly, you're going to have a reaction from your body that maybe is not going to be comfortable for you and that happens and so if that happens back it off a little so if you start out with half a packet a day and you move up to the whole packet in the day and that's still a little too much back back down to the half and give yourself a few days like there is no rush I always say this is this we are we are lifestyling it I don't know what you're racing towards, but just slow it down because if you want a lifestyle change, it's going to be just little steps at a time, little steps at a time, right? Um, so it's going to look different for you than it does for than it does in my life, and that's okay. If 6 a.m. is way too early for you, then guess what? You're not drinking your first one at 6 a.m. I'm not asking you to set your alarm clock at 6 a.m. and get up and drink, right? I mean, you may want to, but there's no reason for that. So fit it into what you're doing. Um, and also, you know, a lot of times we drink this. And what I did, I told, talked about this before. I'm such a challenger, right? I'm going to challenge the system. I'm going to challenge whether I can trust something. I'm just going to challenge it. And the answer back to me better have a lot of trust in it or I'm probably not going to be sold on it, right? So I didn't change anything when I started. I did not change anything I was eating or how much I was eating or anything. I just kept on, kept it on. The only thing I changed was adding this because I wanted to prove to myself, if I add this, what happens? Is this doing what they say it does. And I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, hence, I'm still drinking it. And if you know me, I'm not gonna drink something that's not gonna work. I'm not gonna drink something that's just, mm, it's okay. Like, it needs to be doing something to me um, with the goal. So I could tell immediately that it was putting my body into ketosis. I had the dry mouth. I. I had, you know, I wasn't as hungry. My cravings were changing. Um, I definitely had that clarity and that focus back, a little more energy, pep in my step. Um, those things were telling me that I was in ketosis. You can do the blood test. You can do the urine test. I, I, don't, I don't even know how many tests are available out there. You can do all those things. It passes the test, okay? So, um, 
But what I didn't do, and which may be why I didn't have um, like keto flu things in the very beginning, I wasn't going to change what I wasn't what I was eating. So save that. As I told a friend um, that was asking me, well, what else did you do? Well, I didn't do anything. Because if I change everything from day one, one, my body's gonna have a reaction to that that's probably not weight loss and all this stuff. It's probably all more negative. Um, so the best thing to change in a lifestyle is step by step. And so I knew if I could add this, then I already knew I had something to change, right? If this works and it gets me out of that stuck position where nothing, no other changes were helping, then yes, I'm going to be more motivated to change what I'm eating, how I'm eating, how much I'm eating, how what I'm drinking, how much water I'm drinking, whether I'm moving. Like this is a motivation in a packet, to be honest, um, because you want to see results from something. And so... When we don't see those results, we get frustrated, right? We get overcome. We get that stuck feeling like, seriously, I'm not going to keep doing this. Like, you know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. And if you know what I mean, go ahead and tell me. Tell me in the comments. I know what you mean. Because we all get that, right? And you make these changes. But... um. I will confess, when I started eating them and I went to two a days, I did have a little tummy upset, like it kind of just rolled, and <laughs> probably wasn't the best thing, but I would eat two or three tortilla chips. Uh, you know, it's what I had in the pantry, and I thought, well, it has that, like, need a cracker kind of feeling, and I didn't want a cracker, I wanted a tor tor tortilla chip, so... I ate that with it, and it kind of curbed some of my yucky tummy feelings that I was having. So, not the healthiest choice, but it got me by, and now I'm two packs a day. My body loves it. My body craves it. My body wants to drink it. So, let me put these down. Um, the other thing I want to talk about drinking. So, when we're, we're in ketosis, um, whether you're doing it packet-wise, whether you're doing diet-wise, Wherever, even when you're making exercise changes and everything, your body becomes dehydrated. So I cannot, you know, we made a commitment this month. I don't know if you committed with me, but I hope you did. Um, that we're going to drink more water. So this is my big gallon jug. And um, I try to finish this every day. Why do I have such a big jug? Because I need this visual. Whether it has these motivational sayings along the side, I need this visual to show me you're almost there, to show me, okay, you've drank and you know, you're know you doing really good today, or to show me when it's still up here and it's like lunchtime and I'm like, I haven't drank my water today. Um, and so that tells me, let's get on this girl. So if you are committed to drinking your water and you are doing that, I want you to drop a glass, a water emoji, tell me water, tell me you are hydrating, commit to it. D type in the word commit. Um, so in a thing that I shared, it says that our body weight, we want to divide it in half, and that equals how many ounces you're drinking. Now this is 128 ounces because it is a gallon. So I should be drinking a little more water in my day. But we're not going to talk about that right now. So, um, easy math. If you weighed 200 pounds, you're going to drink 100 ounces of water. Good job. Okay, so drink your water as soon as you wake up. Basically, it's going to fire up your metabolism. It's going to start flushing out all these toxins. And, of course, it's going to hydrate you, right? I mean, we need water. Um, so commit to drinking it. And flavor it because more than likely, if you if you're gonna drink it, if you like it, right? So there's lots of options, um, and I can put some pictures out there. Um, you know, probably the most one that I flavor it with is maybe uh, infused with lemon, or um, I've done blueberries. 
Like, you just play with it. There are so many options out there that I found when I really started looking at it. Because when I first started drinking water, I was like, ew, boring. Um, so, find what works for you. Find what's going to get you to drink your water. Because it is important to your body as well. Um, so, we've talked about that we want to use ketones as our fuel source. We want to be getting up to two ketones a day. There is no rush on that. And we want to drink all the water that we can. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is what we need to eliminate. And I know no one likes to talk about this. No one likes to be told, no, no, can't have that. Um, so I've stayed away from soda since October. And I will tell you that I, um, ooh, yeah, mint and cucumber. I find that I don't like mint. I, you know, I, I did that and I did the mint and cucumber and I went, Ooh, I don't like this flavor. Um, so I, so see, you find these things out about yourself, but I got to do what works for me. So if you love mint and cucumber, Misty, drink it. Like that's perfect. And you are getting so many benefits from adding that mint and that cucumber to that water from the mint and cucumber that it's amazing. Um, so uh, back to the elimination. Um, so I stopped drinking soda. That includes diet soda. Diet soda is probably worse for you than regular soda, but soda in general is a no-go. Um, and when you really, when you're ready to let it go, let it go. Um, and it's, it's so funny. So I, I did let it go. And then I go to, you know, I still eat fast food. Um, I'll try to make a little wise choices, but I still eat fast food. So like going to Chick-fil-A and I get their sweet tea. I'm like, oh, somebody want to finish this for me? I have never, ever in my life uttered those words. Does somebody want my sweet tea from Chick-fil-A? Ha! <laughs> so <laughs> it's so strange how making these changes has changed me. I didn't ask for that. I would have gladly kept my Chick-fil-A sweet tea, right? Um, I got a Dr. Pepper at Arby's the other day, and I spit out the first drink. I was like, ew. And, and it, it was, it tasted like, you know, the soda that doesn't have um, the syrup attached to it. And I thought, well, maybe it's broken. So, of course, I tried it again because, you know, I like soda. And... <laughs> And so I got other soda another day from somewhere else. So totally not the same same instance. And I tasted it again and I was like, oh, I can't drink this. Like, why am I forcing this? Like, my body is telling me, no, girl, we done with this. And so I listened. Um, now, there's lots of things, you know, we like to think that like juice is good for us and it's full of sugar. So read it. Um, you know, Gatorade is one of those things people always think, well, I need Gatorade if my, if, you know, if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling flu-like or need something, um, but there's a lot of sugar in that too. The things that we're adding to our coffee, um, you know, are you a Red Bull drinker? Um, I'm not, there's a lot of alcohol drinks that, um, I'm not really up on, I don't, I don't drink a lot of alcohol, but... Um, a lot of things have sugar and things added to it. Um, I don't know all the things, but be a label reader, be observant to these things. And I promise you that if you can just remove them, it'll happen. Like I'm tell like my sweet tea story. Like I did not want to remove my sweet tea from my life. I cherish a good sweet tea from Chick-fil-A. Um, but they're a little hard for me to drink and, um, it's, it's a tough go. So I want you to comment, tell me what are, what do you, what do you foresee or have tried to, to, what are you struggling with? Is it really hard for you to give up that Dr. Pepper? Is it really hard for you to, um, you know, let go of the sweet tea? Is it hard for you to not have that cup of apple juice in the morning that you're used to having? Do you need to go to Starbucks and get the flavorful coffees um, with all of the additives in it? 
what 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 are you struggling with? We all have something that that is our you know it's our vice, right? Um, and we don't think we can live without it. We don't want to live without it, um, and that's okay. We need to admit it. We need to work on it. We need to research it. We need to find out you know how we can love our body better. Um, and, you know, I encourage you, give it 30 days without that. See what happens. I mean, you may taste it like I did my Dr. Pepper and be like, whoa, what's in this? It's trying to kill me. Um, <laughs> so we're going to talk about what we can drink. Um, I've got a few ketones here. Um, and even though I'm not per se setting up a trial pack, all of these are actually available. So, um... I'm going to start with this, and this is what I'm going to mix up today, but we're going to start because I'm going to talk about the NAT, um, which is our ketones. So when you're online and you're looking at the different things, you want to look for, you want to look for this um, to help you know what you're buying. So it will say those words. Now, I don't particularly like Splash. Splash is a watermelon flavor. I've tried it with less water, more water ice. I've tried it all. And it's not my favorite flavor. But when I add orange Mitoplex to it, it's amazing. So the Mitoplex, of course, is our um, hydration. So basically, um, it's upgraded electrolytes. It enhances our hydration. It starts, it's crafted to really combat that loss of a, um, that electrolyte imbalance that you get whether you're doing a ketosis diet or you're drinking your ketones um, or you're on a different diet or working out really hard, um, this is enhanced hydration that is made to combat that. Um, so if you're suffering from dry mouth, fatigue, thirst, headache, um, dizziness, uh, like mind fog, mom brain, um, a lightheadedness, nausea, this is what needs to be added to your um, to your net. And so I am going to mix this up for you later, but let me go through the rest of my list here. So I also have Swiss cacao, and I'm trying to, I pull flavors that I like to mix. Because I am, um, I know that sometimes we, we kind of, um, we take on something and we're like, well, Robin said she drinks it with 10 ounces of water, and I don't like it. So we just set it to the side. So I encourage you, experiment. I found that Swiss, Swiss cacao, this one, I don't like it in water. But you know what I like it in? Unsweetened almond milk. So extra plus is I'm getting the healthy fats that I need for my body for um, being in ketosis. So it gives me that. So if you like chocolate milk, drop a chocolate milk in the bottom because it tastes just like chocolate milk to me. Like amazing. Um, and then I don't know if you saw my picture, but the true passion is amazing. I like true passion better with a warm um, hibiscus tea, which um, I get my little, my little uh, hot water thermos thing out and um, uh, make my water, let my tea sit, and uh, the word is leaving my brain on what tea does. Anyways, sit in there and get flavorful, <laughs> steep, okay. Um, and, then, and then I add this once I remove my tea bag, okay? So it's a little cooler than when it first began, but it's not much. So I can still drink this with a warm um, tea beverage. Um, and I would try to pick something herbally tea. Again, not Chick-fil-A sweet tea as much as I love it. Um, maybe I should add my ketones to it and see if I, see if I like it. Um, so that's a really good thing, and I really like that. Um, I haven't tried this, but I think you can also warm up your almond milk and do this the same way, but I haven't tried it yet for hot cocoa. Um, 
So then this one I have on hand. This was in our winter series, so it's not available online anymore. And neither are these. These are the pear Mexican ketones and it's liquid in there. I like these better together. So these were in the trial pack last month. So for those of you that got it, I hope you tried these together. If you didn't, I still have more on hand um, that you can purchase from me. Um, these are very tart. So I use a gnat to simmer it back down. It doesn't necessarily have to be cider sipping. Just play with it. Find the one that you love. So I have the other gnat, uh, Mexican ketones gnat. And so this one is a grillo. I don't know. It's like strawberry flavored. So this one I like to mix with the strawberry peach. It takes the tartness away and it makes it a little more strawberry. And I love this and I love this. So together they make a totally different drink for me that I feel is pleasantly delicious. Um, so as you can see, I, as much as, you know, kind of when you get this and you get started, you really just want to like grab a pack and just go, right? Um, so get creative with it because one, I don't want you to get bored and I want you to have some options. Um, on the simple proven results page, there's lots of different, um, recipes and things. A few, like when they came out with the true passion, I didn't come up with this. They emailed me a recipe guide. And so that was fabulous because then I was able to look through there and see, well, what else could I do with this? So there are people doing all kinds of things with heavy whipping cream and all kinds of things with, you know, like the Swiss cacao and, and stuff like that. So um, if you haven't checked out the Simple Proven Results page and looked through the recipes, um, do it. Just search for search for your different gnat flavors and see if so, see if a recipe pops up. It's fabulous. Um, so we talked about the Mitoplex. Oh, and there's also, you'll see when you go through recipes, there's Keto Cream. Um, I actually haven't tried it yet. And um, I take that back. I tried it. I don't drink coffee. That was the one way that I tried it and then I didn't experiment with it. So let me clarify what I really didn't do. Um, but that's our functional fat technology. So it's gonna help strengthen your hair and your nails. It's gonna jumpstart your body's natural ability to convert fat into energy. Um, basically, it's the fat technology that's needed when you're in ketosis. So, um, I really want to add this and fit this into my life somewhere. So if one of you try it and one of you find a different way to do it besides coffee, let me know because honestly, I'm not a coffee drinker. I know that's shocking. So, but if you are a coffee drinker, I want to see a big old gif of how much you love coffee. Drop it in the comments because I want to know. And I know I have a lot of coffee drinkers out there and coffee lovers and it's fabulous. Um, so again, lots of water. So I'm going to mix up the splash with the Mitoplex. Um, I put these together. Okay. So, um, I've got my trusty little mixer bottle this time, my blender bottle. Um, and I want to remind you while I'm doing this, this is my splash. I'm just going to open it up and pour it into my water bottle. Um, there's also a sale going on right now for 22% off when you spend, I think at least 150. So the blue, the berry blue, I said it wrong almost, the berry blue, which, hey, I love you very much. I didn't even know that was happening. Um, when you buy two of those, they're going to, they're going to deduct in price, um, by 22%. So I bought two because why would I pay full price? Like I'm never going to pay full price for an item. If there's a way for me to spend $150 and save 22%, then I'm going to do that. Um, and so I believe it's going through all the way through February. But everything is on sale um, inside and out of your smart ship. So if you're a SmartShip customer, basically you want, I'm going to shake this up. I just put my NAD in there first. I like to shake it up first. So basically if you are a SmartShip customer, you can go on there 
and say purchase, purchase, I think if you purchase a Nat and a Mitoplex, yeah, a Nat and a Mitoplex takes you over the 150. So you could purchase these today. Um, this is in the citrus pack. Um, and it would go down 22%. So it necessarily doesn't have to be two boxes of these. Maybe you want to try a pro, um, which is the protein shake meal replacement. So that's okay too. All right, so I'm gonna open this back up. I like to mix it up first. You don't have to. You can pour them both in at the same time. I'm weird like that. Um, okay, so you just tear open the mitoplex just like before, and it's just a powder that I put in there with the with the gnat in my water. I use ice. Again, you don't have to use ice. You can't see me, but I, I'm gonna hold it up here in just a minute. Oh, I made a mess. Okay, so this, it's all in there. Hold on, I need a paper towel. I came prepared today with some supplies. All right, my water bottle has decided to be a leaky, a leaky water bottle. So basically now that's all it takes and now my Mitoplex is in my nat. So um, it is just ready to drink. And I just open it up. Drink and that's so much better. Mm, I love orange though. Um, if you love orange and you're not a fan of the splash, that comes in like the 10 day trial or however you ended up with it. Um, grab the Mitoplex citrus pack and combine it with the orange um, because it's amazing. So if you never want to pay full price, message me for details. If you want to try the Mitoplex, message me. Um, if you're trying to sign into your cloud account so you can order more, change your smart ship, let me know. I can help walk you through all of that and I'm willing to do that. So um, we are better with community. We are better when we do this together and together we can be more, we can do more and we can achieve more. And I am here to help you with that and to share this with you um, because it's been phenomenal in my own life in changing my cravings, my appetite, my energy, um, and with the added benefit that I've lost 30 pounds. Like, I I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, honestly. Um, and so it's been an amazing experience and I love sharing it with all of you and I thank you for watching today and I hope you have a fabulous weekend and please be safe with the snow tomorrow, but get out there and enjoy it. And just, I love to watch it snow. I love to look out the window and just watch the snowfall. It is so peaceful and it is so beautiful. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm praying for lots of snow, right? I love lots of snow. If it's gonna snow, snow big. And I know not everyone thinks that, but that is what I love. And so thank you all. Have a lovely weekend. I appreciate all of you for being on this journey with me. All right. Bye.